so we can be controlled and deceived. We can be cut off from the self. We can be told that we are sinners. That we are conquered. That we are slaves. That we have lost the right to live. And that we should work as slaves. But we get excluded from the communion. And so those who take the, take the decisions of a what should happen and they give us some story some narrative of some royal family or some holy family some individual some cartoon story of some hero long haired hero from the desert And, and that narrative, that cartoon narrative is then repeated endlessly to control people's attention. It means so the consequences of your action, if you like, is not just your sin, it's the ways of sin is death, your death now, you, you've now got no control over your mind and your life. And then you come down into here, into the throat center, where you're told what you believe and you chant it as a catechism. You chant it, you memorize all the words of the holy book. But you're not allowed to realize the self. The Upanishads say the only the self can realize the self. Only the self. Brahman. Who am I? Not who is this little cartoon figure in the desert preaching this poetry or, or being told nonsense, you know what I mean, about him walking on water or something. What's that got to do with the price of fish unless there's a few thousand who need feeding and then the, the millions starve when the rich do nothing with their religion. So the controllers, you see, the controllers with a cartoon narrative, a royal family, a holy family, and then with the TV. And then with the TV, they do something else. Because obviously, we're going to control our schedules. Our schedules are monthly cycles. You know, our sexual cycles, our relationships how we spend our time, where we're allowed to socialize, where we're allowed to pray, so there is no connection with the self, so we don't find ourselves, we don't reason together. And then they have the flow of things where, where they are forced to work, so we work as servants to maintain their control, we, we're not working for ourselves. We're not working for the self. We're working for people who we don't know, who live elsewhere. We're not praying to the self. We're not helping our community. We are not looking after our environment. Our freedom has been taken away. But they don't want us to know. They want us to think, oh, but you're free to go where you want, when you want. You can form whatever relationships you want. But you're not free to take part in the decisions. You're not recognized. You know, you're an immigrant. You're an incomer. A parvenu.
and you must believe in their dog dogmas. These dogmas, these dogmas are not in the present moment. They're not sincere words. This is love. Remember, in the self, only sincerity succeeds in love. But with the system, you see, we've got this corporate thinking where that they take away our connection to ourselves, and we're just speaking the corporate line. <coughs> and this creates the hypocrisy. <coughs> so you get a certain behaviour, a certain behaviour in the week, a certain public behaviour, a certain political image, public behaviour, and then you get the reality of their behaviour. A house of cards, it's falling down. But we can reason together, you know, we can reason together about our conscience and our intuition, you know, about our vision. about our vision, about our conscience, and about our intuition. Our intuition about the inequality now. Our intuition about the, the violent images of, of crucifixion. What's that got to do with any sort of religion? It's just meant to instill fear. Muhammad, the last prophet. That's to stop you realizing for yourself. We must be free on all these levels. We must be free to see the flow, the cartoon flow, the, and put the narrative, and or stop the narrative, but see the real relationships between each other as divine beings, as gods and goddesses in a divine vessel of the world. We have a Dharma to follow, a Sanatana Dharma, an eternal Dharma. Not these temporary little stories that says why God appeared in history in a certain narrow phase. We must be free to talk, to reason together. We must be free to work and control the flow of things in our environment. You know what I mean? To protect our bodies, to protect our children's bodies from chemicals, from pollutants. We must correct the words. We must have control of the words. We must see that, that these corporate entities with their media moguls and their figurehead religious leaders have got a hidden agenda for their own power and wealth and not for the good of humanity or for the planet. We must reason together. 